Hey guys of United Rock Nations, today we are with Kyle for the show tonight in Toulouse. Uh, Kyle saw so the Kyle Gas Band. How are you, Kyle? Very good, thank Very you. Good. Thank okay. you, Stefan. You are, you are in a, a okay for tonight? We're okay, we're ready to rock and uh, we drove a long way to be with you today. It's our very first tour of France and the response has been incredible. Really. Okay. Perfect, so my first question. Yes. We never had the chance to interview you. We know you work with Tenacious D yes. before mm -hmm. and with your own band. Mm -hmm. The Kaigas band of course, but we don't know so much about your musical influences. So I want you to tell me more about your musical influences. Well, uh, I grew up listening to the radio and uh, rock and roll, and uh, that's been my influence, really, from uh, from the Beatles onward. I think uh, I just uh, I love rock and roll, and so I guess you'd call it classic rock, or we would call it classic rock in the states. So it's anyone, you know, you're sort of your typical, uh, as we call them, dinosaurs. Your Beatles, your Stones, your Zeppelins, your uh, Bad Company, um, Leonard Skinner. Uh, you are your famous, famous band and great bands. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's just, uh, but like I said, I, I wasn't really like a uh, collector. I mainly just listen to the radio and enjoy playing. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. So personally, when we listen to the new album, Thundering Herd, there is southern work influences mm -hmm. like Linus Kenyard, for example. The work you did with the guitar is really amazing. Tell us more about it. About it. Well, I love the guitar. I, I just love the guitar. It's, uh, it's my favorite instrument and um, I, love, uh, I love the high energy of it, but I also like the musicality of it and I love the uh, we call them guitar minis, you know, two twin guitar leads going at once, and that's kind of a signature sound that uh, our guitarist John Kaneski, one of the all-time greats, and our singer guitarist Mike Bray, uh, are able to achieve. And then I think overall, there's uh, similar to Tenacious D, there's a, a humorous element, which I think is uh, it's very natural, but I guess it's uh, unique to us, and um, uh, I think that sort of makes our band uh, what we are. Okay. The album was recorded by John Spiker. Yes. Okay. And mastered by Mirror Applebaum. Mm -hmm. Who done uh, Face No More, Sepultura, I thought. Yes. They usually work with more heavier bands. So why did you choose them for your album? Well, uh... We really mainly work with John Spiker, who plays uh, a bass with Tenacious D and uh, is a producer and engineer and mixer actually in his own right. He's a extremely talented guy and he's been a, a friend of mine and actually plays in the KGB, uh, fills in once in a while. Uh, and uh, he's a really good friend and has his own studio and uh, knows it and it's really an amazing situation. So. Um, yeah, we like what he does. He's a he's kind of a he's kind of a genius, really. So it is the man of, for the situation. Yes, yeah, he is the you. man. <laughs> okay, he is the man. Good, a man and a friend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it seems that the artwork of the album took three months to be designed by Will Feldman. Yeah. So tell us why you choose why you choose it for your artwork. Well. Our uh, guitarist manager, John Kaneski, actually um, got that done, found the artist. We worked together on the concept. We wanted it to be, and part of the Cowgas Band is that it's not me and some side musicians. I'm not really interested in that. I like the idea of a group working together like a, a basketball team or a football team. Everyone has their job and their role. And uh, they work together. So I thought, you know, if we're all sort of five across and we're sort of, uh, we're taking over. We're, we're, we're riding into battle, so to speak. We're coming at you aggressively. And uh, it seemed like kind of a good metaphor for where we're at. And yet the animals uh, are all kind of humorous and uh, they mean something 
to each band member. For instance, Jason's writing a varied thrush, our bass player, and he uh, happens to be an expert bird watcher. And uh, John uh, loves uh, his animal. I forget what it's called. <laughs> I think it's an <laughs> alpaca? No, what is it? It's a, I don't know, it's a funny looking, it's that animal with a long neck. But uh, we just, yeah, uh, just came up with it and uh, really happy with it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So now let's talk about some songs of the album. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. first song, we love a lot to bring her back better. Bring her back okay. better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very powerful song with amazing guitar solo at the end. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about the songwriting and the lyrics on this song. Well, uh, on uh, to, uh, on uh, when we're playing live, uh, off times I will uh, flirt with uh, women in the audience. Mm -hmm. Come and we're uh, we love women in the band and. Uh, but they usually come with their but husbands or boyfriends. Okay. But that doesn't mean that I don't want them. I don't really. But so I, I will talk to them and I say, listen, I know you guys are together. I respect that. But if you let me have her for one night, I will bring her back better. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation. Of course, it's a joke. But it was just something I started to do. And then uh, I think Mike came up with the riff. And then uh, off we went. Bring her back better. Okay. The second song we love so much is Gypsy's Crawl ah. to the Valley. Yes. Okay. Yes. With an expected, uh, with an expected flute solo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wonderful. And so, tell us more about this song. Well, uh, on our very our debut, our first album, we had uh, the song Gypsy Scroll, and um, it uh, it's one of those kind of stairway to heaven or uh, tribute kind of epic song or at least that was the attempt and uh, we really liked it and uh, and we thought it'd be funny to kind of continue the story so to speak so it's a it's a sequel <laughs> to the first Gypsy and of course now on the third album we'll have to complete the trilogy because you can't just have two parts of anything you can't have Lord of the Rings in two parts you, ha you have to have a trilogy so yeah, it's part of a grand trilogy. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. It follows the tale of the very first rocker, The Traveler, paid, played by Mike Bray, who uh, really discovers rock and roll from a mysterious gypsy. And then uh, in Toot of the Valley, uh, The Traveler comes upon the village tootsman, played by myself, who, who tells him rock isn't the way. There's a softer sound, and it's with my flute. And I, he's under my influence now, and then in the song, the gypsy comes back, and we kind of have it out, and uh, and a great guitar solo <laughs> breaks out. <laughs> okay. It's a bit silly, but it's it's pretty fun. <laughs> and the third song we love so much, the way Mike sings on L or I, L or I reminds us Gene Simmons. Tell us more about this song written. Which one? The way. Let me read your point. Oh, oh, it's in French. L or I. Oh, hell, hell or high, high. Yeah. yes, hell or high. yes. Actually, that was, uh, well, I think that was our first song mm -hmm. that um, we were playing before, um, I think that was the first song we had for the new record. And we were playing it live uh, before the album. And that was, um, that's actually uh, hell or high water. Come hell or high water is an expression, common expression um, in, the, in the States. And I always thought it'd be a good idea for a song. And that's the kind of song titles. Now, of course, and then we wrote it. And then, of course, I Googled it, and there's like 25 songs. <laughs> that damn Google. You think you're original. But uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can't copyright titles, and, and uh, it worked for us. So, yeah, it's a real headbanger, though. It's a great riff. And the uh, crowd really enjoys it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I know you are finishing the European tour. How is the atmosphere on stage? The atmosphere is like a drunken party, really. I mean, uh, I think that our our brand, so to speak, in, it's, it's true is we really are uh, five friends and uh, we like to play music and have a good time. It's pretty much uh, not really more complicated. So on stage, and as people say, when you're on tour, 
the best hour of the day is, or two hours, is when you're on stage. And it's true, it's you work all day, you travel far, you gotta set up. Well, I don't, but they do. And, uh, and then once you hit the stage, it's kind of the reward, really. Okay. It's the reward. So, okay. yeah, it's a good time. Just about Tenacious D. Yes. Talking about it. Do you plan to record a new album soon? Always. Uh, unfortunately, that usually takes... Uh, we usually take five or six years <laughs> between records. The first one was 2001. Mm -hmm. The second was 2006. This last one came out, what, 2012? Okay. So I think we're due 2018 for okay. a new Tenacious D album. We've got a couple songs already written. 2018. It's a scoop. Yeah, you got a scoop. <laughs> Look for it in stores. Okay. Two years. <laughs> so the last question. Yes. You have to live in a desert. I yes. It's a supposition. Okay. Yeah. You have to live in a desert island. Yes. Okay. And you what can album? take only one yes, album with only the three. 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 Yeah. three. I get three. 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 Yes. You can get three ah. albums. What would they be? Wow. Kai. All right. Please. Wow. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the White Album, Led Zeppelin Four, and Frampton Comes Alive. <laughs> I don't know. I like the old one. Okay. 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 So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. I have a nice show tonight. Yeah. You're gonna come down. And uh, a big success for this first album of yeah. Hayley Bosman. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you very much. Hi. This is Kyle Gas. Kyle Gas Bam. And you're reading or watching United Rock Nations. It's gonna be good. Check it out. Man.